about flat lashes because these were a great addition to the industry in 2015 and I'll talk to you about why they're different but guys I don't really recommend that you use these at this level of your career because they're quite difficult to work with. You do have to have good skills. I don't really train my beginners on them and recommend that they only really start using them after three to six months when they've got their skills up there. So what's the difference? Well, a normal classic lash, this one we've got on the left, under a microscope is a conical shape. It's like a big long ice cream cone, as you can see. The diameter of it remains the same. Whether you turn it one way or the other, it's always going to have the same thickness. Whereas the flat lash looks like a big long slice of pizza or a snake's tongue with a split tip in it. So actually what an ellipse, they call them ellipse lashes or cashmere lashes or flat lashes, it's just brown. Name. What they are is they're a great way of having a lash that can look the same thickness. And I'm just going to bring my cursor in to assist you. So with a conical shaped lash that we've got here, like we said, it's circular. So the diameter, whether it's here, here, here or here stays the same. Whereas this one, Obviously you see it's got a long diameter here, but the diameter here is going to be a lot shorter. And what they do with these flat lashes is they actually cut this section out. Well, they don't. They develop it like this. All they have is this bit and then this bit. So they're technically shaving off the top of the lash and they're shaving off the bottom to be left with this middle section. And what this means is although they look the same thickness and they're measured in the same thickness because this is the same thickness across here as it is across here, but this side of it is a lot thinner. So this lash would be 0.15 across whichever way, whereas this one would be 0.15 across here, but on this measurement it would be 0.07. So if you were to put these lashes on a set of minuscule scales, this would weigh a lot less than this. And because it weighs a lot less, it's going to cause less trauma on the lashes. It's a bit like having a pigeon, but hollowing out the inside of it, okay? And it's probably not the right analogy. But because it's got less mass to it, it's going to weigh less, although it looks the same size as a fat pigeon. So what we tend to do now is a lot of us use these ellipse shaped lashes or these flat lashes or cashmere lashes because they look exactly the same thickness but they weigh a lot less. So pretty much anyone can wear them because their weight is so lightweight. And again, on my volumetric lash calculations course, which is where we teach you how we calculate lashes, I've also covered how we calculate flat lashes because they're very different to this one. And guys, it's really difficult to get your head around it, especially as a beginner. But like I said, go and buy that course because it will show you because these weigh so much less. And actually, we can learn how much lashes weigh, but it takes the use of calculators and charts and graphs, which I've done all the hard work for you guys and laid it out for you to see so that we know we're never overloading. The other good thing about these is because they're flat in shape, they actually refract the light differently, so they can look a lot thicker than they are. Because this is a conical shape, the way in which the light hits it and bounces off makes it look a lot thinner, whereas a flat lash looks thicker. So if you buy a flat lash, the only issue that you have is due to the shape, you can only attach them to the top or the bottom of the natural lash because if you had a natural lash here and you tried to attach this off the side this contact area is so minimal that it would never attach to a natural lash very well so this is why they can be quite tricky to work with these lashes are great they're very black looking so if you have long young girls that want quite a lot of glamour go for a flat lash on them. They're also quite good if you've had clients coming from elsewhere that have worn like a 0.25 classic lash that's too thick for them. If you then put them onto a flat lash and these come in thicknesses of 0 0.12, 0 0.15 and 0 0.20, if you transition them down to a flat lash, which is much lighter weight, but pretty much can look the same, it's a great option for them. You've actually found that in the industry now, a lot of people have started to phase these out in their salons and actually now only use flat lashes because they look much blunter and we'll show you in some images on the next page. So they are a great addition to the family of eyelash extensions. Unfortunately, some of them that you buy can be quite plasticky looking shiny. Um, we've got some great ones on the eyelash excellence shop. I've done a lot of research into them to ensure that I sourced only nice, soft, flexible, nice looking ones. They come in shiny and they come in matte as well. 
So something to suit all of your clients, but these are a great addition. I don't recommend that you start off on these guys because they can be really tricky to work with. Ease yourself in nice and gently. Use this type of lash first of all, and then when you've got the hang of this, then move on to a flat lash. So we've got two images here, and actually, can you see the quality of the top image? This flat lash on the top is a much nicer flat lash than these flat lashes on the bottom. The bottom ones are quite plasticky looking. They're, um, they're almost like a shiny one. Whereas the top flat lash is more tapered at the tips and sort of more matte in appearance. So you can see the quality lot looks a lot, a lot better really. Also, this is a better set at the top. Both of these are my students who gave me permission to very kindly use these images and both were in training as well. The top image is, is actually really nice. This suits this client really well, whereas I think the bottom image, it doesn't, it's not quite as nice. I think the curl's too extreme. It's a little bit messy for my liking. Okay, some clients might like this, but we've used these images just to show you what they can look like. Now, flat lashes don't suit everyone. So you've got to really consider this with who you're using them on. They suit clients that naturally have quite good natural lashes. So if you've got like a Cheryl, like my Cheryl, her natural lash won't hold a flat lash due to the shape of it. It just doesn't work well. And sometimes you've got to find out for yourself, but they just don't bond well to a very thin damaged natural lash. If you've got a client that likes that sort of Kim Kardashian, the Essex look, it's a county that we have in the UK where the girls like big, thick and bold, or if they're dancers or anything where they want a very dramatic look, because they're thicker looking and blacker looking, they're less tapered towards the tip. They look thicker throughout the whole length from the base to the tip than a conical shape lash that is tapered. If the client is very dark, so dark eyes, dark skin, dark hair, it works better. If you put these on a client that's very fair, it's awful. It looks like when you get an old lady that's wearing far too much mascara, it's too harsh. It doesn't work quite well on them. And they have to have straight natural lashes. And what I mean by that is not straight as in growing straight, but growing uniform. So some clients' lashes are crazy. They grow off in crazy directions. Because you can only attach flat lashes to the top or the bottom of the natural lash, Sometimes trying to create direction is very difficult because of how you attach them. So if your client's got crazy, crazy growing lashes that grow off to the left or grow off to the right, it can be very difficult. What you actually get is a very messy looking set in this bottom image here. So you do have to be a bit skilled to work with them. And then obviously the opposite, who they don't suit, if they've got weak and thin natural lashes, if they're older, they don't suit really older ladies, older faces, fair in complexion and have crisscross natural lashes. But sometimes it's just a case of you giving them a go and seeing how you get on with them and who they suit.